Hello everyone, this is Ron from Neon and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily create short links with our Neon Lee tool. URL shorteners like Neon Lee are very useful if you want to gather meaningful data from your URLs, if you want to share your links very easily in a tweet for example, if you want to mask or rewrite your links just to make them appear a bit cleaner, but you can also use them to share a link that needs a password protection. If you're new to this, we'll link one of our blog articles for you to learn a bit more about the benefits of URL shorteners. Once you have opened the tool, you can add a custom domain. If no custom domains were added yet, you can ignore this field. If you want to learn how to add a custom domain, we'll leave a tutorial down below. If you don't have a custom domain, you can copy paste the URL, so your link that you want to shorten. You copy it into this field, we'll just call it the base URL, okay? You can use this form to add UTM tags if you want, and we'll leave a tutorial to that as well. Then just click the arrow to confirm. Congrats, you just shortened your base URL and it just turned into a Neon Lee. So the next screen is specific to the Neon Lee you just created. You land on the data tab, which displays your click data, but we'll talk more about it later. To modify your link, just click on the edit tab. Also, don't forget that you can always duplicate or delete your links with the buttons upright. Now that you are on the edit tab, you can still modify your base URL here. By clicking on the customize button, you can change the slug, which is what comes after the slash. But hey, here nothing's definitive. You can always change your mind and use a custom domain for the link. Down below, you have a very important feature. This allows you to protect your link with a password. And last on this page, you have the UTM source. So if you check this, our tool will automatically add the referral UTM source. So if someone clicks on your link on Facebook, we'll automatically add Facebook as a UTM source to the base URL. And this information will be displayed on Google Analytics, for example. Once you've shared your link and people click on it, data will start to appear below the added options in the page. So remember to refresh this page because the data doesn't update real time. For each click, you'll see a refer, so the website or apps where people clicked on your link, the browser, the platform, so did people use mobile or desktop, the location and the browser language. And if you scroll all the way down, there's a list of all clicks that can be downloaded as CSVs. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below.